What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here with a early look at the Uncanny X-Force Omnibus by Rick Remender. This is the reprint, and not only are we going to do an overview of it, we're going to do a comparison to the first printing, which I have right here, so stay tuned. All right, guys, man, super shout out to Marvel Comics. So honored that they sent us an early copy of this so that we could take a look at it. We could share it with you guys. And I just realized I don't really need two copies of this, too. So you know what's going to happen with this thing. I'm going to get go ahead and give it away, man. So let's jump right into it. Um, first things first. This was one of my favorite omnibus for a really long time. It's probably uh, my number two right now. When that Spider-Man vs. Venom omnibus came out, that kind of took the number one spot just because of pure nostalgia. But the Uncanny X-Force uh, run by Rick Remender is one of the few runs that I've read multiple times. I read it twice in single issues. I read it as an omnibus. I absolutely love this run. I think it's like the best X-Team ever, the best version of Deadpool. Best version of Archangel, maybe even Psylocke, Phantom X. This was my first introduction to him, and uh, I just love it. This omnibus collects the entire run. It's issues 1 through 35, plus you get the 5.1 and 19.1 issues. You also get material from Wolverine Road to Hell Number 1, All New Wolverine Saga, and X-Men Spotlight. Right away, I can see that... Um, Uh-oh, the price went up, man. This was $99.99, and now it's $100 even, so... It went up a penny. Uh, let's see here. Thickness, it looks to be about the same thickness. Here's the spine. And we're, we're going to do an overview look uh, from the top. But let's bust it out of the plastic first. Oh, so this guy, uh, guys, this book comes out in March of 2020. Stay tuned to the channel, and I'll have more specific dates as it comes out, and I'll probably drop a video the day it's released, uh, along with what other you know collected editions are coming out that day. This is one that you don't want to miss out on, man. I mean, if you read the run, you know it's a must-have. If you've never read it, this is my recommendation. It's probably one of the best Marvel, uh, Marvel runs to read. Uh, let's go ahead and slip off the dust jacket. Wow, you know what? I could already tell they did something different because if I remember, this is a white cover. Dang, so look at that. They switched up from a white cover to a black cover. I noticed right away that the ribbon is blue, whereas the first printing is black. So let's go ahead now and do an overview and see uh, any other differences if there are any. Oh, you know what we got to do before we do that? Since this is a brand new omnibus, got to stretch that spine, y'all. We got to go ahead and do this little technique here that kind of helps relax the pages, kind of breaks up the glue a little bit, evenly disperses the weight so that you don't read it in 10 years and all of a sudden all the glue is hardened and cracked and messes up the binding. So what's interesting about it right away is that um, it doesn't have a very big eye under the ribbon, but it doesn't have any gutter loss either. The pages lay very flat, even though it seems to be kind of stuck to the spine here. Hey, I'll take it. I don't really need the eye as long as you have uh, no gutter loss, right? So, okay, as promised, let's go ahead and do the over over overhead shot. All right, here we go. As promised, the overview. So at first glance, this is the first printing on the left. This is the new printing on the right. Looks pretty much identical. Looking at the spines. That looks uh, identical as well. The only difference that I can see on the back is the parental advisory is slightly different. The price is a penny more. Uh, actually, it's $112.99 Canadian, but now it's $127 Canadian. So prices went up a little bit on the book. I mean, for U.S., not really, but, you know. Pretty interesting how they changed up the color of the hardcover from white to black like that. Same color with the logo, that pink and teal combo. I guess uh, it's going to be easy if anyone wants to know if they're buying a first print or a second print. You can just tell by the color of the hardcover. So otherwise everything is the same. You could even see uh, the same image on the back, just a different background color. Similar kind of 
black first page here. But everything else in this book is going to be identical, guys. I don't know if it's really a point for me flipping through all of it. spot so actually you know what we should look at here my first printing does have more of an eye it actually is a little much to be honest with you you can see how it's more of like a a triangle than than an eye whereas the first uh, whereas the new printing doesn't really have an eye at all but again those pages are still uh, they still lay very flat. So, personally, when it comes to omnibus, guys, I don't think it's a big deal whether you have a, a first print or, or a second or third or fourth print. Usually, when a new printing comes out, it devalues the first print. This was a whale of a book. I think it was going for like 300 bucks. And now that there's a reprint that you can get for like $50 off of one of those sites that I mentioned... This one is not going to sell for anywhere much more than that. So really, with an omnibus collector, we just want the book because we want to read the run. It's not so much a collector's edition if there's a new printing out there. So the reprinting, what it does is it devalues the, the first printing, and it gives a lot of new collectors a chance to jump onto the book who missed it the first go around. And Marvel seems to be doing a lot of reprints this year. I mean, we have the Wolverine Volume 1 coming out. Annihilation uh, already came out. And um, a couple other whales. I think there was like four, five or six whales that got reprinted. But that's, those are the slight differences. Uh, glad to report the uh, binding is good on the new print. Some small changes uh, aesthetically on the hardcover. But otherwise, the same goodness. I feel like Moses coming down with the Ten Commandments. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed the overview. Uh, again, huge shout out to Marvel Comics. I'm so stoked that we were able to get this in early to share it with you guys. Must have. Don't ask me if you should get it. You definitely need to get it. You could probably pre-order this now through like DCBS or something like that. Or wait to go ahead and uh, get it off one of the other sites. Uh, cheap graphic novels or in-stock trades or something like that uh, in March. Uh, so drop me a line in the comments below, make sure to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more daily content, more breaking news, more first looks. We actually have another early release omnibus we're going to share as well. So stay tuned for that. Stay minty fresh guys. Peace.